Just before we arrived in Monaco, we got the first glimpse of the Mediterranean Sea. And I just felt a real excitement thinking about how our boats, like after a year of hard work, was going to be sailing there in that sea competing against others. When she was let down in the water, usually in the Netherlands, the, the foils and the strassa disappear. But here in Monaco, the water is so blue that we can just see everything there. And that, that's really amazing to see. These last few days, we unpacked everything, checked all our systems and made everything ready and optimized for, uh, for the race. The first time that we went out to sea, it was a lot rougher and unpredictable than the inland waters for, uh, in the Netherlands. However, for Mira and the team, it was really a way to truly show their potential in like, coping with these circumstances. We finally had the chance to show just what we are capable of. ready for the actual races. The first challenge of today was the maneuverability challenge where we could really showcase uh, the performance and agility of Mira. The maneuverability challenge went really well. Thanks to our fully rotating backstrap, the slalom went really good and we were able to take sharp turns in the Arbor of Monaco. The next challenge was the speed record. It went super great. I was shaking all over with excitement. I still have the adrenaline in me uh, and me and Bauer were super happy at the finish line and uh, it was a great celebration. Of course, we have foiled before at roughly 45 km per hour, but today there was a new milestone with 50 km per hour. The whole team can be proud of that. With this new record, we have proved that sailing and racing on hydrogen is possible.